it's 3 a.m. We of course do not sleep much. Not only because it's 3 a.m. but but because but because these types of events that's out of ordinary or not used to doing. It's like a special uh, meeting sort of thing. It gives me anxiety that I'm gonna miss my appointment or it's something I've never done before, like go to this airport. I don't know how long it takes, how to get around, what am I gonna do with all this luggage, how to get it there. Um, so we're running on fumes and the day's just getting started. It's 5.30 a.m. Security took about a half hour to get through. Got about 10 minutes left of boarding. I think I got here just in time. And I got here about two hours early. There goes a Southwest plane backing out. To Denver.
I like that. I didn't think I like a small plane, but for each one, it's actually not bad. It's not funky. It was short. Well, that's because they have to, like, they make turns and they land and take off and all that. But, um, no, I mean, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was quick. Yeah, I told you landing is pretty deep. Yeah, the only problem was is that I did get a guy next to me, and he did sleep the whole flight, and he kept the shade shut, and of course he was looking down some of his photographs. You know where his plane is going after it lands? <laughs> yes. London. This thing's got flying straight from Los Angeles to London after it just came from Brazil last night. First things first, let's buckle those belts. Insert the metal end into the buckle and pull the strap to tighten. To open, simply lift on the top of the buckle. And I remember, expect you great on the ticket to get a First time, probably have no sand on this. There's no air conditioning. It's like 90 something in here. <laughs> There's no ventilation. They don't even have a fans on, I don't think. You want to air conditioning, but no fans. <laughs>